They say life is the best teacher, but sometimes it's the actions of children that teach the best lessons. Some of the children from one other community decide they were going to ride their bicycles over to the other community and uh, they just started having fun together. Bishop Antonio Palmer has seen the long-standing conflict between parts of the community in Anne Arundel County. Inspired by the bravery of children, creating much needed peace as part of the Kingdom Care mission. Jesus was out in the community more he was in a synagogue, so uh, he, he, it was parallel. You know, you get a good word in church for to empower you to go out and make effective changes in the community. Violence interrupters or change agents will hold a peace bike ride on August 12th for children ages 10 and up. With violent crimes on the rise statewide, Eric Brown with Man Up says the kids need to see positivity in the flesh. These kids need us, man. We need to step up and uh, stop. Like I, I say, we need to stop talking about it and just put our foot, feet on the ground. Whether on foot or bike or on this block or that one, Brown and his wife, Tierra, they meet the kids where they are with the goal of expanding the way they think about not liking someone because of where they live. First, they have to know that it is a problem. Sometimes in our communities, it's a norm. Adverse childhood experiences can be the genesis of a traumatic life. But Brown says we have to clear the path so children can see where the road less traveled can take you. Our boys are fighting our girls and our girls are fighting our boys and just unity through our communities, being able to walk from one neighborhood to another without having someone saying you can't be here. The team at Kingdom Care and Man Up knows that one bike ride won't solve years of infighting. But a wise man once said, bicycles are social catalysts that attract a superior category of people. And those people are the children of Anne Arundel County. If we can affect change, then they can affect change. Reporting in Odenton, Megan Rivers, WBAL TV 11 News. Megan, thank you. And apparently they need about 25 bikes and helmets. So if you would like to donate to this very good cause, we have the information on our website, WBALTV.com.